In this first lesson, we will get a quick view at how a JavaScript program can be written and viewed in your browser. This will give you a glimpse into the power of JavaScript and how easy it is to run a computer program right from your browser without having to download any additional resources. The first step would be to open the code editor of your choosing. I will be using Sublime Text, but you could use any editor you would like. You could even use the basic text editors that come with your operating system. For example, if you have Windows, using Notepad would be perfectly fine. Or if you have a Mac, Text Edit would also be fine to use. Once you have your text editor open, please write the following code into your editor line by line and then save it as hello world.html. Adding the .html extension at the end of the file name will turn the file from a regular text file into an HTML file so that we are able to view our code in the browser. Again, it doesn't matter what text editor you use. As long as you write your file name followed by a .html, your file will become an HTML file. Please pause the video now so you could write the following code. You could also find this code in the description section of this video. Now that you have hello world.html saved, we will need to locate the file so that we could view it in the browser. But before we do that, it is important to note that where you save your HTML files will be critical to your success, as you will be creating many files and you want to stay organized. It's good practice to get in the habit of saving your files in one folder specifically for your programming projects. After locating hello world.html, go ahead and double click on it. If all goes well, your default browser will launch with a web page that says hello world. If you get an error message or see a blank page, review the code again and see where you made a mistake. Make sure you get every line of code correct and make sure that you save the file as .html. And there we have it. You wrote your first JavaScript program and ran it in your browser. In the next lesson, I will explain line by line what the code means so you have a better understanding of everything. See you in the next lesson.